Thank you for watching and subscribing to the Spectrum Geeks channel, but it's time for me to do things a little bit differently. It's time to make some changes. If you're on my Discord channel or the Spectrum Geeks Discord channel, you'll know that for a few weeks now I've been comparing some of the videos that I do to some other people on YouTube and somewhat being puzzled while I have only a few hundred views uh, on a certain topic or subject or item, other people are getting thousands of views. And I've been researching and thinking about that for a little while. So I kind of come to some conclusions that I figure I need to, to try out, to test new things. But I thought I'd kind of mention that in this video because obviously I owe kind of where this channel is today to everyone that's viewing it and subscribing. So to provide a bit of context, I've got a few different uh, YouTube channels. I've had different channels over the years, but Spectrum Geeks is the channel that I've really decided, right, I'm gonna try and put more effort and emphasis and kind of be uh, regular and put out constant content. And so I started this channel back in uh, June 4th, 2016. And it's now the 14th of February, 2022, as I'm recording this. I've uploaded 694 videos and every single Monday at 6 p.m. UK time, there has at least been a new video. I've been pretty consistent, pretty regular. Um, and, you know, the channel's done pretty well. I've got over 1.5 million views and we've got around nearly five, five and a half thousand subscribers on that. So the channel, you know, it's, it's, it's doing good. Um, but it's not where uh, I want it to be. And I'm also not so happy with some of the content I've been putting out. And I have some feelings as to why that is and things that I'm going to do differently. So let me explain that to you now. So Spectrum Geeks kind of started off, and maybe it still is a, a tech channel. I have various different uh, interests and passions. And that's also, I guess, one of the things that's not good about my YouTube channel is I don't have a niche. Maybe you watch my channel because of one of the things that I talk about. So maybe it's the solar panel stuff, maybe it's electric vehicle stuff. There are little sub niches within what I'm interested in, but I'm interested in so many things and there's so much kind of content that I wanna put uh, on the channel to, to help people. That, that's really my goal to help people and build a community. And I try and make videos that I would want to watch. So often the reason why I ever started doing any YouTube video is, hey, I bought this thing or I like this thing. I don't think other people are really aware of it like I am. I should do a video on it. Uh, and that started back off in uh, I think my first ever YouTube channel, which was called Security Active. Still some videos on that. Um, uh, and even like last year, I bought my Hero Camper Ranger. I set up a separate channel for that. That's also not doing that great. I mean, maybe it is, I don't know. But it's just basically got me thinking, is this a tech channel or is this really kind of more of a, a lifestyle type channel? Not in terms of I'm doing loads of vlogs and everything, but is the way that the channel type is categorized in YouTube helping or hindering? So I've done some research on that. I think it does play a part in it. Um, so thinking about that and also I know a brand, you know, can help with, with people searching for certain things. The reason I called it Spectrum Geeks is I, I'm a geeky guy and I'm interested in a whole plethora of things, a whole spectrum of different things. But you have people kind of come to the channel, I think, for the, the wrong reason. Perhaps they think it's a, a ZX Spectrum uh, channel, perhaps it's something else. So I'm not sure if the name is helping or hindering either. So Obviously, the good news about all this is I can kind of keep the channel as it uh, as it is with the current subscribers and the current videos and change the name and everything. So that doesn't don't have to start from scratch, which is a, a great advantage. Um, so I will be doing that. But the main thing um, that I want to change to make the channel better for the viewers, 
and also for myself is I'm often doing these videos in a rushed fashion, it feels like, and that means I'm not doing the best videos that I can be doing. Uh, and even this video here is a probably an example. I keep on thinking, right, I must get this video out and do a video about this. Um, and I've not paid enough attention to the backgrounds and lighting and everything, but just want to get this out here that I want my future videos to be less rushed. I've got so much stuff here that I spent money on lighting, um, dollies, uh, sliders, different cameras, mounts, all different kinds of things. And I'm hardly ever using them because I think to myself, ah, oh, I need to get a video up for 6 p.m. I haven't done one. I haven't got enough kind of pre-recorded stuff. I just need to get something out. I still do my best to try and script some of it, um, but I often feel um, like it's um, rushed. And I've got boxes of stuff that I buy that I haven't used yet, not because I don't want to use them, um, but I'm like, ah, oh, I need to make a, a video on that and I can't do it till I've made a video and all sorts of stuff. First of all, problems for sure. But I think moving forward, the other thing I'm going to do with the channel is I think that uh, a better quality, better produced video is going to be better. So more quality over quantity. You look at other channels that have done 694 uploads, they have much more than five and a half thousand views. Um, so I think I'm going to make these changes over the coming months. It's not like it's going to happen uh, right now. There's still a few videos um, that I've done and we'll be going up. There's still some that I guess aren't going to be kind of super polished as I'm kind of recording some of the flying things. But I'm definitely going to make a conscious effort to try and improve uh, the quality of my production, the scripting, and utilizing the tools more that I have to up the production and basically see how that goes. It may just be that I'm just no good at YouTube. <laughs> And I'm not uh, the type of presenter and creating the content that more people want to watch. But, you know, less bitching and more doing, right? So that's my goal. That's my plan. So I'm going to start um, being more focused on not necessarily trying to get a video out every week, every Monday at 6 p.m. UK time. I'll get a video out when I think I've done a good video that's worth watching and will provide content that people want to watch um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do again thank you very much for watching and subscribing to this channel please continue to do that if you continue to like the the content that i put out please don't unsubscribe because i've just said this i'm hoping there's still going to be stuff you want to watch and even better stuff that keeps you more entertained and want to watch it um for longer I'd also welcome any feedback and comments you have down below in the comments section that may kind of help me. Again, everyone wants different things, um, but the main thing to me is do videos that I think would help me and would help uh, make me be able to make more informed decisions about different stuff uh, and videos that I would want to watch. And I don't think I've been doing that that well recently, so I'm going to change it.